All right, so this is our example question of calculating probability. And I'm going to read this question out for you, yeah, because that is my it's a disadvantage of studying history. I studied history and political science, actually. Yeah, so that my handwriting for some of you is a little bit difficult to read. Yeah, so don't worry, listen carefully. It says, a bag contains 12 blue, 6 red, 6 white, and 4 green, 4 green, and 10 yellow counters. Sorry, yeah, so a lot of counters in this bag. And if I take one counter out at random, yeah, so I close my eyes and I look the other way and I take this counter out, what is the probability that it is blue, yellow, green or white, and not red? Okay, so interesting question, yeah? a typical question uh, involving probability. And I'm just, just gonna highlight some important information. Yeah, so I have 12 blue ones, six red counters, six white counters, four green and 10 yellow counters, okay? And we are calculating probability here. So do not say, well, the chance to get a blue one is likely or unlikely. No, they want a fraction or a decimal, yeah? Or a percentage, if you like, yeah? So we are calculating. Now, a blue counter. Oh, I have said in my previous video, if I just take that sheet, that to calculate the probability of an event happening, the amount of successes over the amount of possibilities. Okay, so a blue counter, let me do a new sheet of paper. Yeah, so the chance, P they usually say in brackets then, of taking a blue counter. Yeah, so this is usually the notation of the probability and then the event in those brackets, yeah? in this case, taking a blue counter. But what are my successes? How many successes do I have? How many blue ones do I have? I have 12 successes, 12 out of. How many counters are in my bag? Yeah? So I only have 12 blue ones, but out of how many? Well, I have, I have to do some addition, don't I? 12, 18, uh, 24, 28, 38. So that is the chance, the probability of taking a blue counter, 12 over 38. You do not have to simplify fractions when you're doing probability. You can leave it like that, okay? So let me just check that if that 38 is correct, yeah, because I can make mistakes as well. Let's go the other way. 10, 14, 20, 32, 38. All right, 12 blue ones. Excellent, yeah? Question B, what is the probability, yeah, um, that I grab a yellow? Um, counter. Okay, so the chance, I'm just going to write down yellow inside my brackets now, uh, which means what is the chance of getting a yellow counter? Well, what is the amount of successes? I have 10 successes, yeah, so 10 out of 38, yeah, because this is a new question that previous counter has been put uh, back into the bag, so I have 10 out of 38. Let's continue. Green or white? What is the chance of getting a green or a white one? It doesn't matter, either one of them, as long as it's green or white. So how many successes do I have? Let me first write it down, sorry. So the probability, green or white, yeah. All right, well, how many green ones do I have? Four, and how many white ones? Six, so it doesn't matter, either one of them. So how many successes do I have? 10. And that is still out of 38, yeah? So you can see now the chance that you get either a green or a white one is the same chance as getting a yellow counter, yeah? Which is slightly smaller, yeah? That chance is slightly less than getting a blue counter, yeah? Because that is a higher chance. Anyway, let's continue. Sorry, last question. Not a red counter. Okay, now there are two ways of doing this, okay? Not a red counter, so the probability of not red. Two ways, first of all, you could say, well, not red, that means it can be uh, blue, yellow, green, and white. So how many successes do I have? I have 10, 20, 32 successes, yeah? So I have 32 out of 38. Yeah, that's the correct answer. But, and in some cases this is better, the event of something not happening is the same, I'm gonna show you that now, of one minus the event actually happening. Okay, so what is 
the event that you get a red counter. What is the probability of that? Well, red is six, so six out of 38, yeah? So the chance, again, of not getting a red counter is the same as one minus the chance of actually getting the red counter. Because one minus six over 38 equals 32 over 38. And as you can see, that's the same answer, yeah? So, especially that last one, you will encounter it a lot where they'll say, what is the chance that something is not happening, yeah? And then usually you have to answer that in a way like I just did here with the second occasion, you find actually out what is the chance of it happening, and then you subtract that from one, yeah? Now, um, and then I'm gonna finish, yeah? If the chance uh, that it's going to rain is going to be uh, 0.2, which is 20%, what is the chance, so that is the chance of rain, what is the chance that it's not going to rain, yeah? Now, so again, what if the chance of that's gonna rain today in Egypt is 0 0.2, yeah, which if you like is 20%, what is then the chance that it's not going to rain? Well, the chance of no rain, and I'm sure you already have your answer ready, is the same as one minus the chance of rain, yeah? So that is one minus 0 0.2, so 0 0.8. Yeah, as some of you had already said, well, yeah, it's 80%. If it's 20% chance of rain, it's 80% chance of no rain because together, it's absolutely certain, 100% certainty, that it's either going to rain or not going to rain. Yeah, and that's where, come, uh, where, uh, where it comes from, that the chance of something not happening is equal to one minus chance of that actually happening, yeah? because together it has to be one or 100%. Okay, so uh, that was an example question. I have another one, uh, a typical question involving a dice in my next video. I'll see you there.